Hello everybody and welcome to another third party review. In today's video we're taking a look at the Iron Factory Iron Samurai series. This is Hanukumaki or Honikumaki. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's their take on bludgeon. Comes in this really nice green box and we've got him on the back there. I love that alt mode. That looks sensational. We have him out of his plastic prison. Love the Iron Factory figures, but the war for Cybertron, that kind of fall of Cybertron aesthetic didn't really do it for me in this sort of scale. But these samurai style figures, I'm a huge Akira Kurosawa fan, and these sorts of things really do tickle a lot of feels for me. Uh, absolutely adore how he looks. Love the decal, the colors are extremely extraordinarily good. The head sculpt on Bludgeon especially is mind-bogglingly good. I love the swords, love that we've got placement for those swords as well. We can sheave them on the thighs. We can move those up to the top as well. We've got his uh, flag of arms kind of there as well. He really looks sensational. If you've seen the recent teeth by Iron Factory at the last uh, toy show, they've got a whole job load of the samurais coming and this is the start of something absolutely beautiful getting up close and personal look at that sculpt that is incredible look at the chest love these blades like i said we can move these sheaths they can just sit up on the backpack as well on their treads he looks very kind of skeletorial, which I like. Not really uh, that close to his original appearance. Uh, what was he originally? He was in Master Force originally, wasn't he? As a pretender. Doesn't really have that vibe about it. It looks more like a skeletal warrior. I think it definitely suits the character. As far as accessories go, we get a selection of different hands. We've got these sword wielding hands, we've got the uh, palm strikes and the fists, and we also get a weapon. It's almost like a steampunk weapon there as well. Resembles Megatron's shotgun from Dark of the Moon. Again, really nice colors. It's a lovely weathering on it as well. Let's just uh, remove these swords and take a look at these. Again, nicely done. Really nice paint throughout. And they can be stored just like so. Or you can move this up and place that up the top here as well. It's all a matter of preference. But, oh, just absolutely adore how that looks. There's just so much character there for such a small figure. Bludgeon's hands are nice and easy to switch out. Just rubber fists and hands that just pop on to a ball socket. Incredible. For a quick scale comparison, here he is alongside their Leo convoy. Uh, they look sensational, don't they? Uh, again, uh, he's an amazing samurai-esque figure as well isn't he but bludgeon definitely tops him it's just something about the way that he looks and he's posing i think it just really captivates me let's get bludgeon transformed up let's just uh, remove his weaponry oh, there we go i'm gonna remove swords and also his banner as well. Actually, speaking of Kurosawa, I was watching The Hidden Fortress recently. Haven't seen that film in years. I'm watching the digitally remastered version and it's very refreshing to see it looking so crisp and clean. Right, uh, start off by dropping these panels down to the back. Need to make sure everything's kind of all squared up. This chest piece here, 
comes up like so. Uh, straighten off those arms. And I'm going to switch that fist back out for the original one. Like so. And then we're going to bring this piece forward and bring them all the way down. And then just using those ball joints, bring that around and bring those up to the front, like so. Bring these tread panels up. So they're gonna come up to the side. This piece here is gonna rotate on this ball hinge. And this is gonna collapse in to that void. Pushing backwards. So the head sits in. This is then going to come up and these are gonna come forwards and come up and this is going to come forwards. So we have something that looks like this. The bottom jaw panel comes out, untabs, flips all the way up. This piece here extends like so and extends, comes up, pushes and then this top panel here is gonna tab in to the top of that jaw piece like this, rotate the upper thigh around. So this part now forms the front of the foot. So you rotate the foot itself around and we need to just flip this leg panel up. And then this is gonna collapse on a double hinge. It's gonna rock up and over, compressing into the thigh. This then folds backwards and the feet come up like so. And there's a tab just on the inside of this track, which lines up with the leg, allowing that to tab in together. And here he is with all of his weapons attached. Uh, the gun just slots in the top, using these two pieces here to tab that in together. Same goes with the banner as well. That just tabs in at the back there. Again, looks really smart being tabbed in. And swords can just go alongside. It's not perfect. Definitely not perfect, but man, does that look sensational. I love that. That's a very kind of military vibe, uh, but still screams Japanese shogun, doesn't it? Adore how that looks. And to add to that playability scale, the tank treads can just unfold, giving us these kind of crab-like legs. So you can still have them tabbed in if you need to, but I like to kind of untab these and just position it. I think I actually like the kind of crab mode more than the tank mode. But either way, it's a really kind of futuristic addition to your Japanese kind of shoguns. I love it. By far my favorite Iron Factory figure to date. And I mean, that's saying something because Iron Factory had done some amazing pieces. But he just looks incredible. And for those just curious about the alt mode scale. There you go, here he is with New Age Ironhide and Iron Factory Leo Convoy. So yeah, I, this is where I think that it doesn't really matter which brand you're using. This is where I think that the New Age and the Iron Factories work really well together when you're kind of mixing continuities. Absolutely adore it. This is by far my favorite figure Iron Factory have done, hands down. Well done guys, you've done an amazing job. Honestly, cannot wait to get more of these Japanese inspired warriors. They are sublime. Thank you all for watching and until next time, myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, ah, goodbye.